month but you know even though you don't get your inputs uh, as you used to you start to notice that there's something better about this in the feeling of doing the electrics for some reason you need to re-educate your muscle memory and when you successfully did that then you will it will take you just one month bro it it took me one month do you agree that japanese is faster than korean yes japanese is faster than korean but that has a mechanical uh, explanation you know what i'm just gonna explain now fuck it the viewers will come they can watch it uh, later on youtube so anyways i'm gonna show you the stick now let's listen to some better music for this this is too hype <laughs> I can't concentrate with that. I need to wriggle the stick. Let's listen to some death note. Light Yagami. Oh, this is good. This is good. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this is a Korean stick, yeah? So when you pull this off, this is the shaft. And with Korean sticks, you can actually change the shaft like the thickness. If you change the thickness, it will instead of going only like this, it will go like this. And it has more throw. So you can actually change the thickness of the uh, of of this part of the stick which goes inside your stick case this is called stick case for this example i'm using a crazy dongpal lever so look at this it goes inside here and then we come to the micro switches this is a micro switch this is a micro switch this is a micro switch you see the red one you see the red one here the red one basically it indicates when the lever activates you know when your stick you know when you move it activates the movement as soon as you hit it the movement is activated so the difference about korean levers is that these these have different travels for example you get sticks where this part of the stick is large or smaller and depending on how big this is you can actually you know reach the corners by either doing small moves or doing big movements dependent on what you like so this is about the part of korean sticks being so adjustable these these things they are so adjustable you can basically mod them in any kind of way to perfectly have the feeling that you desire next thing actuator so korean sticks use actuators this is one actuator this is another actuator and as you can see they have uh, different thicknesses to them even though even small changes like 14.4 to 14.6 or or even that even more uh, smaller changes look at this they look almost the same but this one is a little bit smaller so what does this now i already discussed with you that this part yeah the switches how uh, if you have omron switches for example uh, or sony even sony switches and they have different travel distances and when you power it with this now let's put it in so now you can see the white one is around the stick it's around the stick so now you can basically choose how thick do you want this white one the actuator to be as the Mishima player, for example, 
As a Mishima player, you would like to have a small actuator to get in, uh, you know, the corners when they are very tight. When they are very tight, the smaller it is, you see, the tighter it is. The bigger, the bigger it is, the um, basically it is not as precise, but you get less miss inputs. But you are slow. So if you play, for example, Brian Fury, you have the knee lever. The knee lever compared to this stick, this lever, the crazy dongpa lever, this is made for Mishima players. And since Mishima players need to have small diagonals, they tend to use this lever. But if they use this stick, and play Brian and try to backdash and have not very delicate um, inputs, they get back sways all the time. That's when the actuator comes into play. And that's when you want to change your lever to the basic character you want to play. If you have a back sway character, you're gonna use a different lever, different actuator, probably a thicker actuator with bigger diagonals. But if you play a Mishima player, uh, uh, if you play a Mishima character with Wave Dash or Armor King or any kind of character like that, you're gonna use the smaller actuator. Put it inside, bam. Okay, so uh, so the thicker it is, the more sensitive it is. Well, basically, uh, if you have a very thick actuator. It, the travel is a little bit small, uh, smaller, like you can do less uh, small movement. Because as soon as you put your hands down on the lever, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna actually demonstrate. I mean, look at how thick the black one is compared to the white one. And as soon as I push it, it already activates. You hear the clicking? But if you want, sharp diagonals and dig in deeper for the down forward for example you use a smaller actuator what i use for example the white one this is a small actuator look it is way smaller and has space inside but you dig in deep you dig in deep So the, so the thicker the actuator, the quicker it registers. Uh, well, I, I think this is on, on a level with the pussy, that's why. So, so far, I told you about actuator and switches. And this is even the most important part. part. Now, you have, when you put this out, this is the lever case. And the lever case is, I believe, one of the most important parts of the lever. It determines the suction inside. <laughs> I know it sounds a bit weird, but it determines the suction inside the lever and the pressure on the grommet. So the pressure on the grommet is determined by how the lever is designed. The crazy Dongpa lever, for example, it has not as much not as much pressure inside the suction is not as big so if you use like in 25a yo zaza was good we're talking about levers so if you take a 25a in a in a crazy dongpa lever it's gonna feel like a 25a if you put a 25a the same grommet it determines I'm gonna show you how hard is it to move the lever how hard is it to move the lever this this is 35a and this is my own stick this is 35a as well but this bam 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 super stiff Yeah, and basically, if you have an a Sanjuk version 6, for example, <laughs> if you have a Sanjuk version 6, for example, 
35A is gonna feel like 40A on the crazy dongpa level. So why is that important though? Now we come to Japanese sticks and this is gonna change your perception about sticks. This is a Japanese lever. I know it looks like a toy and it kind of is like a toy. But listen, the problem that any player that any player that plays Tekken has with a Japanese stick is that there is no grommet. There is no grommet. There is no grommet, which means this. You see, it is it is wobbly and it, it, it there is not much tension on it. Reason being, because tension is always good in Tekken. You need to uh, uh, think about it like this. If you have a high tension grommet and you need to use your hands to push into a certain direction since you're using more force and the lever is so stiff you can get less miss inputs because the the way you shove it it's like a train on rails it's like on rails you just go into the direction you press because there uh, you you need to use a little bit of force but if you play a japanese lever there's no force you need to do it very delicate very delicate on the other hand very fast but why do you get missed input sometimes reason being is there's a spring inside this is a rubber what is the difference between a rubber tension and spring tension springs jump that's where the neutral comes into play because when you let the lever from a directional input go it jumps around a little bit it doesn't stay in the center because that's the nature of a spring and that's where the grommet comes into play the grommet doesn't allow the lever to go out from neutral after you do the fast movement you're gonna stay in neutral but on Japanese levers you cannot let the lever go and do the next input you kinda do it in all in one go like this you basically you never let it go am I right or am I wrong if you play a Japanese lever you can't let it go because if you let it go it's uh, it, you're just gonna get miss inputs you're just gonna get miss inputs so so Korean sticks they return to neutral faster and they stay in neutral they don't bubble and jump around but Japanese sticks do that so some people say, well, you can change the spring LBS. You can like uh, order a spring which has higher tension. So it jumps to neutral faster and has more tension to it. So you have the benefits of a Korean stick, right? Well, the problem with that one is if you raise the tension on a Japanese lever, the Japanese lever is going to jump even, even worse because that's how springs work. It's go just going to jump worse. And that's why... Sanva, um, uh, that's why Sanva uh, always uses like one LBS springs so they don't fuck it up because if they use too much tension the people will uh, complain about it jumping around when you let it go from the neutral. Let me explain in, in Tekken, yeah? I'm gonna show you my inputs. Sometimes when you play Kazuya and you do those movements all of a sudden he jumps He jumps or you instead of a sidewalk you get a jump as well So why is that it most of the times it happens when you do the fast movement and try to do the directional change the directional change is gonna force you with a Japanese lever to hold on on the stick and kind of keep it in the neutral by your own but on a Korean stick this is what I can do on a Korean stick I cannot do that on a Japanese stick because the Japanese stick will wobble too much I'm actually letting it go I'm letting it go 
But on a Japanese stick, I would need to do it in one go. I can't do that. If you know what I mean, you need to do it like this. That's why you also need a ball top. Why do you use a ball top on a Japanese stick? It's actually because it's easier to, uh, to use your movement with your fingers at all times. But if you use your whole wrist, sometimes you want to rest out your hands and leave the lever. Just let it go from forward so it goes to neutral on its own. But on a uh, Japanese lever, you need, you need to do it yourself. Yeah, that, it, that is basically the difference. It is, it is not a minor difference. It is a big fucking difference, guys. It's a big fucking difference. And what I can also suggest to people, because they say, yeah, Japanese sticks, they are faster. You are right. Japanese sticks, they are faster. Because you don't have no tension. But you can also use a very light grommet on a Korean lever and work your way up to higher tensions. So that's why also they don't use a ball top on Korean levers because it doesn't make sense. You have more tension on the grommet so you need to have more power. This is more power than this. If you do use it like this, yeah, you need to probably get a 15A to make it work. But with a 35A, you like to do this and it feels more natural. Yeah, Sayo, this is like an... Um, this, not everyone knows this. There's a few levers. They are mixed in between Japanese levers and Korean levers. I never tried one of those and I never played on one of those but I know there's an alpha lever and even Sanjuk has one is called Sanjuk version 5. So Sanjuk version 5 and alpha lever they are a mix in between Japanese and Korean levers. It's you can experiment with it. I would just recommend just getting a standard Korean sticks, but they are hybrid sticks and uh, some people say they are the best sticks for them. At the end of the day, it's just to preference. I would like to play on a Korean, but I also didn't play on a hybrid stick. But yeah, hybrid sticks are a thing. Any questions you want to me to ask, uh, uh, like uh, want me to explain anything that I forgot? But I think so. Uh, that was pretty much it. I can show you some uh, spare parts that I have. What you can change on a Korean lever, on grommets and stuff. But overall, that's gonna be it. There's not much more to it. What's the best stick for Mishima's again? The best stick for Mishima's. Well, you could argue it's the Fujin version 3, Sanjuk version 6, uh, some people say crazy Dongpa lever, but the quality on the lever is not bad, uh, not, not good. Oh, I forgot one thing, I, I forgot one thing, one thing, yeah, I forgot one thing, it's actually a big thing. Um, sorry that I, I almost forget about it. If you play a character like Geese or Akuma, you want to buy on a Korean stick. And I show you why. Japanese levers have a square gate. This is a square. You hit corners. You hit corners. You actually have physical corners. On a Korean stick, it's a circle. It's a circle and you need to determine where the corner is. And that's where the customization in Korean sticks comes into play. Because with the switch and with the actuator and the shaft, you can determine where you want your diagonals to be. You understand? Big, big, big difference. And imagine playing with geese doing the uh, 
a half quarter circles and stuff like that forward quarter circle fast movements do you think this is easier or doing it with a stick with a Japanese stick yeah it is pretty much easier with an uh, Korean which grommet do you use 45 8 no I play 35 8 what about knee lever stick well the knee lever I have my very own opinion on it some people might not like it but it's all right if you have something to say say it but the um, the the knee lever is built in a way no it's not extra light because I play on a version uh, Sanjuk version 6 I already explained some levers have more suction more vacuum in the lever and because there's more vacuum 35a feels like a 45a so i'm play basically playing 45a anyways the knee lever is built in order to be able to play any character it is not a specialist uh, lever the diagonals are not very tight but they are not very small i talked to a lot of people that said I play knee lever and what they told me and what I experienced by trying it myself if you play a character like Brian a backdash character you get less back sways when you want to backdash some people like Sayo they say I can wave dash on um, on a knee lever very fast other people say I can't wave dash on a knee lever Reason being is, for example, I use the knee lever, I know how it feels, I cannot play on a knee lever. Reason being is, it has an insane throw, it is so long, the travel is immense, the travel is immense. I forget halfway through the input where the corner is. Yeah, man, I'm gonna clip it. I'm gonna make a highlight, Shayon, and I'm gonna put it on YouTube. The higher the A number, the more tension stick has. Exactly. 25A, 35A. We have even 50A. And also, I'm gonna show you where to buy sticks. And I'm gonna show you, yeah? Because some people, then they come, they say, Well, Medus, where do you get your sticks, man? Where can I order sticks? It's easy. It's fucking easy, bro. I'm gonna show you now. <laughs> Good idea. Um, yeah, uh, just adapting. They are plug and play. No adapting. I said they are plug and play. Okay. Um, this is is small Korea. Every Tekken player that I know buys his stuff from here. I can recommend Ismall is super reliable super reliable very good like you cannot go wrong with this now let's see for example you go on the Ismall web uh, site and then let's say you are a Mishima player and you want to get a stick and you want to listen to my recommendation so the the thing is how much money do you want to spend if you want to spend like let's say $70 or $80 yeah only on the stick you go on brown and there's the sticks here is the famous crazy dongpa lever it is only $34 
It's so cheap. It's so cheap. Like, this is a very good lever to start with Tekken. But if you want to spend more money and you want to get something of more quality and more customization, you can go for Bear Lever, you can go for Golden Lever, you can go for Sanjuke version 6, you can go for um, Fujin version 3. Yeah, klar, kann ich machen. Okay, this is the link from the um, page, yeah? Courage I'm Lever, I'm gonna go on it. I heard Courage I'm Lever is insane, but uh, don't worry, I'm gonna show you now. Okay, this is the site. And this is the make, like, this is the Samduksa, it's called Crown Samduksa. And this is the Help Me lever, famous, Crazy Dunkball lever, famous. And the 307 MJ, you know, the standard stuff. These are the standard stuff. Not too expensive. In infiltration lever, yeah, that, that one. But I don't see reason to buy this one. And then there is Myong Shin Fanta. Porridge. I do you have an opinion about Crazy Dongpa Lever? Yes, I believe a Crazy Dongpa Lever is a good lever to start with when you uh, want to play Mishimas. It's very cheap. It's worth the money. <clears throat> the quality is not very good. Uh, gold, I think golden lever is good because you can customize it, Sayonara. Okay, I don't know, man. I, I, my version 6 is brutal. It's one of the best sticks out there. Anyways, Crazy Dongpa lever. The problem, there's one certain problem with the Crazy Dongpa lever. This is the Crazy Dongpa lever in my hand, actually. I'm gonna show you now what the problem is. This is the Crazy Dongpa lever, yeah? Do you notice a problem with this lever right now when I'm shaking it? This is the natural state of the lever is like this. It is bubbling all the time. Pretty shit, right? Yeah, that's crazy dongpa lever for you. That's what most people uh, hate about this lever. Another thing about this lever that is really annoying. It spins like a Beyblade. It spins like crazy. It just spins all the time. You know, when you play it, sometimes you sw uh, slip off when you're not used to playing with this lever. That's the problem. If you want, if you want a crazy dongpa lever, you know, the same specs on a crazy dongpa lever because the specs are really good. Actuation is really good. Uh, everything is really good, actually. Just the quality is shit. So if you want a really good lever, buy the Sanjuk version 6. It is basically a crazy dongpa lever, but over the top quality. It doesn't spin, it doesn't wobble, nothing. So, yeah, some, some people like it when it spins. Some people like it. Uh, no problem, Kaz75. So, now we can go and look how to order a stick because this is hard. I like my sticker the way I like books, wobbly. <laughs> Alright. Okay, boys, listen. It's a little bit tricky because Ismail is an asshole when it comes to uh, new people trying to buy stuff here. They make it in a way that you think you need to order things even though you don't need them for $40 and then it arrives and then you realize it's even uh, worse. Uh, can you repeat what was the best version of CDP lever? I didn't get it. Uh, basically the lever I play with, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you now, yeah?
The lever is called Sanjuk version 6. It is a really, really expensive lever. But you're probably not gonna uh, buy any lever after this. This is the best lever, period. In my opinion, period. So this is my lever. Looks sexy, right? Quality is over the top. As soon as you open it, it is just perfect quality. Perfect. No wobble, nothing. And one of the first players I ordered and I could play with immediately. Immediately. And my execution immediately skyrocketed. Immediately. So low profile color means basically this is uh, made for uh, it, it is a low pro profile col co color for normal sticks japanese sticks like gamba dragon gamba obsidian and whatnot mj mounting plate this means that you can adjust uh, uh, put this on any kind of stick it is japanese built so you don't have problems with it So, product features allow that, I can tell you everything. This is the um, sticks which this um, lever works on. Mad Ca Mad Make Sticks Pro, this is from Ismo. Joytron Revolution version 2, I don't know that even. If Stick, Gunba, Obsidian, Dragon, Mad Cats TE2, Classic, Real Arcade, Pro Hayabusa, Hori, uh, and Razor Old Pantera. So if you a, a lot of people have the Hori stick, Real Arcade Pro, you can use it on that too. Yeah, you can buy Neil Lever also. I just, I just don't like it. So this is the tension on this is slightly soft. It says, but um, Crazy Dongpa Lever is soft. Basically, Crazy Dongpa Lever it says he is soft, and. This is slightly soft, but when you have the 35A, believe me, it is not soft. It is not soft. Middle is crazy. You can, it is so stiff. Like, middle is Sanju, no, middle is uh, Fujin version 3. And slightly stiff is Myeongshin Fanta and whatnot. Works on the Hori Rap 4 also? Yeah, it works. So, how do you order now? Now we go to order because there's a trick on the side. They try to trick you. And I'm gonna show you exactly what they try to trick you with. And uh, I, I really think this is uh, bad. Yeah, in it. Okay, the problem is with this site, you click on order, shopping cart, buy now, okay? Look at this where it says color. Select, please select an option. Full color, mid color. What does that even mean? Does anyone know? I, I believe, I, I believe 80% of the, um, 80 of the guys in the chat right now don't know what the full color and the mid color is. Uh, when you want to order the stick, it asks you specifically about every part what you want to have. If you want to play, buy a mid color, don't buy a full color. You only want to buy a full color if you have the a special stick. It's the stick that JDCR uses. Uh, what is the name of the of the stick JDCR? Uh, Etoki Etoki Omni. Etoki Omni, Korean version. Yeah, Etoki. If you have an Etoki, you can go for the full color, but it's up to your taste. It's basically Korean all the way, Korean, Korean. But no one nowadays plays with full color. Everyone goes with mid color. So just listen to me on that. Just buy a mid color and you're good. Next, for example, we take mid color. Round. Mid color round four way. Bro, you don't even need this. You don't even need this. And now I'm gonna show you something even more crazy. Because you can argue you can buy something like this. But now look at that. Version 6 head. 
for twenty five dollars. It bro, it is Pujing housing set. That one, forty eight dollars. Do you know what this is for? The Pujing housing set. This is for an, uh, not even the Sanju version six level. They just put that inside there, making you believe you need this, and then you buy it, it comes home with the normal lever, and you can't even use it. It's just the housing of the, uh, of the Fuji lever. Don't ask me why they do this, but they try to scam a little bit. I got to let my followers know. Yeah. You buy it, you don't know, you think like, okay, I probably need to buy everything from the lever. And then there it says Fujing housing set. How the fuck are you supposed to know if this is your first lever that you don't even need this? And this is not even for the uh, Fuji, uh, for the Sanjuk version 6. How the fuck are you supposed to know this? The Fujin, uh, uh, the um, shipping is uh, extreme, yeah. Uh, by uh, einfach by uh, things joystick. Anyways, if you want to buy the version six, you click on this. You buy the version six head. You need this. The shaft. You buy stainless shaft. This is important. I think it's worth it. Worth it. Then you uh, get your bat top, the color you want, and you get your grommet. And the grommet is extremely important. Bro, this is the most important part, bro. Oh, chat is a bit out of screen. Yeah, don't worry. I'm gonna get it. Okay. Anyways, the grommet that I use, 35A. Basically this one. You might argue you can buy a 30 and a 35A. But you want to really stick with, just stick with a 35A. Just believe me. I try different call, uh, different Grommet setups. Different this, different that. On stream, before tournaments. All of a sudden I couldn't move. I got miss inputs. It was too light, it was too hard. Just take my advice and don't waste your time some levers they just work on, with a specific grommet the best because the switch spacing and everything is just built for that grommet for this you just stick with the 35a same as the cdp lever but note cdp lever will always feel very wobbly and soft and sanjuk will just feel more stiff because of the way the lever is built you can use 30, it's alright. In my opinion, 35 is better because 30 is on the lighter uh, side of things. Just my, just my advice. You don't need to listen to it. Okay, I think the level talk is done now. Uh, we can start to play some fucking Tekken. A uh, Cody, feel, yeah, yeah. Cody plays with an uh, uh, with light grommet, but also Cody doesn't play only with one stick. Cody basically plays uh, with different levers every three months. Every fucking three months, he uses a different lever because he just likes to experiment. No problem, Taldo. So, throw this in the trash. Just trust me. Get a Korean lever. Okay, guys. I'm gonna take a piss now. And I'm coming back. Sponsored by Korea. Yeah, yeah, I get money for this shit. Okay, I, I show you my um, my break, my piss break uh, overlay, and I'm coming in one minute.
Okay, I'm back. Um, guys, uh, does anyone have the Discord from um, the arcade guys? Like, there's a Discord, uh, uh, Gromant Sniffers. It really, the name is, the name is Gromant Sniffers. It really is. Sniff. They, s they sniff Gromant. So, um, these guys, they are insane. <laughs> There are some crazy guys in in that Discord. Even high level players and everything. Like, you get your informations, you get there, yeah. And uh, I am also new to levels, but I just told you the most important stuff, so you basically know what is going on. And uh, if you have more in depth questions, you want to get into the world of levers because that's not very s interesting for me. I just want to get a strong player. I have my lever and I'm fine. I would just want to get good at this game. But some people they just like the world of levers because there's so much versatility to, to it, and there's also a little bit of a history, green arcade levers and stuff. And you can read up some really interesting things if you are really interested in it. And if you cannot find parts from official sites, there's always one crazy bastard that has like 30 of them in his garage or some shit. You text it, yo, does anyone have Gromen for this and that lever 30A? I can't find it anywhere. Then he says, yeah, I still have five. Uh, I, I'm gonna send you for 15 quid or some shit. So that's the thing. <laughs> 